Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show... I am John Blackstar. Produced in 1981 by Lou Scheimer and Norm Prescott for Filmation, 13 episodes of the series were produced. Blackstar to this day is thought to have been inspired by Thundar the Barbarian, which premiered a year earlier. Where Thundar the Barbarian was set in the post-apocalyptic wasteland of the future, Blackstar takes place in another galaxy. John Blackstar was an astronaut from Earth and stranded on the planet Cigar after he and his spacecraft were swept through a black hole that took him to the ancient alien universe. On Cigar, John makes allies with the Trobits, the shape-changing clone, the dragon warlock, and Mara the Enchantress. With his allies, Blackstar opposed the Overlord, who sought to take over Cigar. The Earth in which Blackstar hails from is rarely elaborated on in the series. The only thing that is known is that it is incredibly advanced, perhaps being in a future time period. Neither Blackstar nor Katana bear any insignia related to any agencies in the real world. Blackstar's race isn't really specified in the series, but it's often speculated that he may have Native American heritage or ancestry, preceding Bravestar by six years. He was originally designed as an African American, keeping with Filmation's predilection for socially positive messages in its shows. He was subsequently changed to a deeply tanned Caucasian. It's been mentioned this was done at the behest of the network, but Filmation producer Lou Scheimer has disclaimed all memory of any such directive. As an astronaut, Blackstar was most likely extensively trained in many fields. The series presents him as intelligent and often prefers to outsmart his opponent rather than rely on physical talent. Even though his constant contact with Star Sword grants him superhuman athletic abilities and near invulnerability, Blackstar uses the Star Sword as his primary weapon, which is one half of the magical weapon known as the Power Star. The Power Star was split in two by mysterious means, with Blackstar and the Overlord each possessing one half. The Star Sword is able to absorb, store, and reflect any external form of energy, and is virtually indestructible. It can also produce blasts of pure energy capable of destroying a target. The weapon generates an invisible aura which imbues Blackstar with superhuman senses, strength, endurance, reflexes, speed, agility, and a limited invulnerability to harm and extreme temperatures. Presumably, the Overlord's Power Sword confers similar abilities. For a brief time in the episode Space Wrecked, the Star Sword and the Power Sword were reunited into the Power Star. Galoob produced action figures at a 5.5 inch scale for the series from 1983 to 1985 after the show's cancellation, attempting to tap into the He-Man boom of 83. It's new for your kids. Laser light, laser light, it's Blackstar. Defender of right, he's ready to fight the evil overlord. Laser light. The ice castle is a mysterious place. He might meet the lava rock face to face. Laser light, laser light, it's Black Star! From Galoo. Evil characters were packaged with demons which came in different colors. And everyone had a demon figure back in the day. They were everywhere. While good characters were packaged with Trobbits, Trobbits were also packaged individually with Riff, Terra and Gossamer being the tougher ones to find. Warlock the Dragon and the Spaceship were each released in two color variations. Also released were Triton, Cadre's Flying Bull, the Trobit Wind Machine, and Battle Wagon. The Ice Castle was constructed with very thin plastic making it very fragile as you guys can see in Retro Blasting's video on the topic. Two independent comic series were made for the French market. One was a three-issue series published by Editions Valiant in their long-running comic magazine Piff Gadget. The other was a 46-page one-shot published by Editions, which mostly published Marvel Comics into French, while Gatignol's version stays close to the original. Mitten went his own way with the Blackstar mythos, creating new enemies for Blackstar to fight, such as Antrax the Cold Giant, Telecrane the Phantom Witch, and stating that Blackstar and Mara had a romantic relationship. While Katana does not appear, 
She has a counterpart in Blackstar's original girlfriend from Earth, Leia, who appears in a flashback. It is also explained that Blackstar suffers partial amnesia from his crash on Sagar and had all but forgotten Leia when he started his relationship with Mera. BCI Eclipse LLC released Blackstar, the complete series, in Region 1 DVD on August 22, 2006. The two-disc set features all 13 original uncut episodes of the series in story continuity order, fully restored and remastered for optimum audio and video quality, plus several bonus features. Episodes were released on a DVD named Heroes and Heroines with episodes from mini-series on August 5, 2008. By early 2009, this release had been discontinued and is out of print as BCI Eclipse ceased operations. In 2007, three PAL DVDs containing two episodes on each were released by Boulevard Entertainment in the UK. Though no subsequent DVDs have been released, leaving the remaining seven episodes unreleased, as Boulevard Entertainment went into liquidation in 2014. Surprisingly, there isn't really very much about the show online, and every website I was able to find on it had the exact same information. I don't remember a whole lot about the series, but I do remember having the Overlord figure and the Green Demon figure that came with him. But that's it. I don't think I had Blackstar at all, and may have only seen the cartoon in passing. There's quite possibly more online about Thundar the Barbarian than there is Blackstar. Filmation's entire intellectual property library is now owned by DreamWorks Animation, which itself is owned by Universal and has been since 2016. Only time will tell if they plan on providing new content from Filmation's library. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon from Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.